and welcome back to uh, a new season with uh, my hometown Redding Asylum football here and we are in division 4 and we have done some signings actually not too many this season uh, so we have actually been able to loan some of our reserve players we let go of Stranel he was anyway he's going to retire with the and Wikman Wikman did not play that much so uh, Joachim Lehmann uh, is um, free on free division he's the best apparently in the central midfield and he has potential for second division we loaned in Fis Fisnik Marakwey I don't really know how you say that uh, yes, because we did just have three strikers, I believe. Uh, and yeah, so we got him in the... Oh, I've forgotten to change... Oh, no. Why is the tactics like this? <laughs> well, we are going to do the tactics like that just because... I was just getting everyone in to uh, match fitness, so yeah. Uh, so Fredriksen, we got him in last season, he did not actually play in the games because it was so... Just in the end of the season, I, I wouldn't say Mama. Oh, there, I would rather say... Oh, we haven't registered him and... N Linus, I would like Linus there instead. Then Ali on the bench, let's just change here a little bit so it makes more sense. And let's just registrate our new players. Yeah, it's just on loan. Couldn't find anyone else and we kind of need a striker. Uh, so yeah, there we go. So going with this lineup for the first match against Lindås uh, Longach. <laughs> and then we probably will do the second match against Pukkesberg BK. I have no idea about it, these teams. So we're going with Birgren, Adnan, uh, Westerlund. Did come in last season there. Birgesson, uh, Westman Söderstedt uh, from the youth team. Holmquist, uh, Bukalin, Fredriksson, uh, Milotic, Mohamed Ali and Lundin there. So we're going with that. Um, I would just give them random numbers, I don't really care that much. Unfortunately, we are losing a lot of money since we still can't earn enough. I haven't really given any players any new contracts either. I believe I can't really give them too much. So, uh, But yeah, hopefully we get, go up next... Or I shouldn't say too much. A penalty just after one minute. Maybe this will be tougher than we thought. Rudin scores after one minute. Well, that is a terrible start at least. I guess we'll see uh, what will be. It will probably play like 10 matches as usual. And then, do we not have a good enough team? It almost seems like that right now. Fredriksson, Dundin. I feel like some players are definitely below a high level. Bukalin. Oh, that's a poor shot. Take him a shot, really. I guess it's just going to become more difficult than difficult as we go. Yeah, we are. I don't know what's going to happen if we're not going to go up. So that is the goal. They're going to get annoyed and sack me. And I believe I just have like one season contract and whenever home quiz goes through here, pass it instead. <laughs> I know he's the best play, but don't be just a diva. Football is a team sport. So far, really, really not great. This is still at home, so I don't know why we're so not creating that. Oh, good there is a Lundino. We might, as you see, we might need a bad striker now. When the defenses might have actually become better. Home quiz, that was a shot and a half, or at least a chance there. Now we're creating chances, but we're not scoring on our chances. I don't know how good this is. Oh, and there, <laughs> Fredrik Rudén score again. Well, we definitely have to be better here in the second half. And this is still a home game, I believe. The, maybe I shouldn't brought in my like left back that hasn't played that much. 
Yeah, that was a gamble and be on as well. Now then, maybe we're playing too fancy right now, I don't know. Uh, can we win a good there home quiz? Milotic. Fredriksson. Ooh, what a great strike though. Isa Lundin with the pass there and we are at least one goal back. It's perfect timing before the half time here. Uh, we have to definitely do this better. This is uh, at home. Don't wanna, don't wanna have a problem here. Fortunately, he is the best one there. Bukali maybe for... Said he was good, but we have uh, Aaron and McCallum. who played uh, many seasons here now. <sighs> I don't know. No one of the right back is either not good. Maybe maybe you were right with Muhammad Ali. I don't know. Maybe I was wrong. <laughs> not a better lad. We have him, but a really, really good left back wouldn't hurt. And better strikers. And all around. Because checking on the start, he still sets up some plays are good and uh, good for Division 4, but I don't know if it's just because just because we already slowed down that they wouldn't be good enough for like Division 2. Fredriksson, is he offside? That almost, no? That's not offside. Okay, great. Mohamed Ali and Christopher Fredriksson. Fredriksson. And uh, Mohamed Ali with it. Yeah, he is. That's no side, definitely not. Okay, let's see here. What can we do? It looks a little bit better. Holmquist has surprisingly been very, very <sighs> uninterested, maybe, is the word. I'm going to still give him the full match, but I'm not overly impressed by him. He's supposed to be a best player. I know he's young, but that doesn't mean that he's able to just... Here then, uh, wo woeful, not even across there really. Uh, can push forward trying to score a goal here. I'm probably going to score the winning goal <laughs> when I'm going higher up here. Peter, I oh, no. Why are we so leaky suddenly? Yes, we don't have the best defense, but still. And that was a goalkeeping mistake for sure. Maybe I should have made more signings. I don't know. Well, this was not the uh, start of the season that I wanted. So at least we scored two goals. Ah, oh, no, we'll be four or two. No, no, then it wouldn't look like we even tried this ridiculous scoring a hat trick in the first <coughs> match. Ah. <sighs> Well, now we have a work cut off for us in the uh, upcoming games. Hopefully I don't get sacked, that is what I'm most worried about since the youth facility is so much better, so they basically demand us. I mean 5.8, that's just awful. I don't know, maybe they are <laughs> title promotion. We are the favorite, I think we even were the favorite there as well. Um, Westeros maybe will be the next match, probably. If go Westeros, yeah, probably. Umedalen, that, that totally makes sense. Playing in the <laughs> Umeå. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, this division doesn't really make sense. Distance wise, but I heard from, yeah, well, uh, that play in the women's team. Uh, but in Division 3 and like Division 2 is more like scattered over the country or whatever. But Division 5 and Division 6, it shouldn't be like if you are a team from Stockholm, then you should meet a team from Göteborg. It seems really bizarre. <laughs> That's the only thing that I can describe as. as. Um. I wasn't happy, I wanted to make a statement. And hopefully we win this match instead, but yeah. Definitely not going undefeated now. Like I said, it's going to be get tougher and tougher. I guess we could see on my best 11 to see if everyone is up to par. Jevish says that he is a Division 4 player. 
guess I'm just going on the place uh, starting. Division 4 player. He is good enough for Division 3. Uh, he is good enough for Division 3. Holmquist is good enough for Division 2. Can even be Division 1 soon. Uh, he is good enough for Division 3. Because just here we can. He's good. Uh, he's currently Division 3. You may have just a free star there. Division 4 level. Westman. Uh, Arbley is Division 4 as well. Even if he has 4th choice there. Which is weird. Uh, where is some of the Division 4 as well? So it doesn't say per se that someone is like awful. Even him he says he's good enough for Division 4. And maybe we we'll play with Meek and Lord, but he's more of a central defender. Maybe we should do that, I don't know. Well, we, I guess we have him for today, so... Yeah, making some changes at least. So... Sigermu as the sweeper keeper, Adnan, uh, Ahmed Ali, uh, Westerlund, Nord, uh, Fredriksson, uh, Bukalin, Lehmann, uh, Johansson, Victor Johansson, uh, Milotic, and Isa Lundin up top as a uh, target man. So yeah, I well here we at least have full back now. I checked and they said that he would be good enough for second division, and he's actually played a lot in second division as well. So I think he's at least going to be good. I don't think he was a left back, unfortunately. Now he's a right back, but still. Pretty happy to get in someone that is experienced, like he at this forty nine percent there. So let's not gambling at someone. <laughs> he is also pretty, I don't know, but well. So yeah, I don't know. It took so long time to go through the preseason and all. So I oh I forgot to show you as well, but it's it's Bukalin maybe Lehman. Um. And Holmquist, of course. I miss Ben Sheehan because I'm annoyed. The best player doing the worst match. You want some? Miltic. Salundin. Oh! Nead Miltic scoring. First goal of... The, or no, not first goal. <laughs> first leading goal, maybe. <laughs> Something. Uh, keep going, keep creating here. I'm in control of the ball, yeah, we have 56%, 60%, that's good. I might do some switches here. Uh, Adnan is real tired, no? They played a lot, though, recently. But I've seen some of them actually have gone up like half a star or something. But it's not that incredible. Uh, Isa Lundin, Ter Terapong Bukalin scores. Or scores, he does the assist through there and with 2 nil up. <laughs> Maybe this is the bottom team, maybe that's why we're dominating our dude and it's good. Maybe it isn't at all surprising that other team were like... Um, let's get Nilsson in here. On oh, nonsense. I'm not going to get home because he's, I'm going to punish him. <laughs> we might make the chance because Fredrikson has a yellow card, but elsewhere. I'm not going to do it just because do we That's Lund. Milotic, through ball to Isa Lundin. It is breakthrough season this season, maybe. Uh, Isa Lundin scored against, and Milotic with a sister, a lovely goal, 3 0 up in the beginning of second half here. And we have Victor Johansson, a little bit time. We might get either Muller or the new guy. Might actually see what he can play if he's best at pressing for. I guess that could work. It's going to punish him, like, <laughs> just because I can. I Muller, the Muller is not that fit either, so let's just get him in as well. While we're leading 3 0, we're probably going to concede there because 
Like I said, our defense isn't that great. <laughs> Maybe Sigmar should play more. Especially since our playing style is like very possession based, so maybe it's better with actually a sweeper keeper. <laughs> Even if we play a lot of through balls as well offside. On Fisnik, one shot on target, eight shot on target for us. Definitely a better match. I wish we would have played that in first match. And f oh, I should have, I should have actually. Oh, right, we can do a change. I forgot about that. Uh, it seems, seems silly. Oh, I don't want to take out any one of these. It has to be someone else then. Get home in case you get to come in here last 10 minutes. What are we? F How can we be 15? Surely it has to be some more teams that just lost the first match. And then won the second. Was about to score it. Oh, we can actually make one other change. I forgot about that. Bukalin, since some of our guys seems tired, they might have actually played more than almost two ninety minutes here. On quest. Great. Oh no, I thought they would go through actually and be a great through ball there. Uh, what the sun? Oh. Man, you can't just leave them alone like that. That was silly of you. Defense. Do it better, please. At least uh, our goal, uh, this goalkeeper seems to do it better than the other one. He actually did a goalkeeper mistake in that other one. Stickly going for another finish. For God's sake, I know we are good, but please pass the ball instead. We're always going for a freaking shot. Estlund. You want some? Holmquist on the wrong wing there. I don't know what happened there. Kind of. I don't know what I was going to say. Who is in the best 11 there of all Division 4 clubs? I believe we have two. Probably two. Not three. That would be insane if we have three players. Maybe with that new fellow since he has played the Division. I'm a little bit bit surprised still that they want to go down like two levels here especially like him that had actually played a lot of matches but I guess he was like almost over 30 so <sighs> well now we just had to wait for this I might cut it out if it takes too freaking long okay there we are and uh, where are we now little teach I, I should as well I think Fredrickson Fredrickson might as well be a player. Six. Two clubs. And uh, we have a chance though, as you can see, it's a playoff as well. Uh, two clubs there. Brolanda. Uh, so home quits. No, it's actually just two. Or one play. Home quits is the best one here. Or we actually add more, but I guess the players as well are getting better. <laughs> it's just what it is. But as you can see, my highly, highly favorite. So that's a little bit scary, but it's... So I guess Van almost uh, uh, is going to be... They are also... Yeah, they really they finished second last season, so... I might check when we have that match. Okay, that match is not far ago, so I think we're going to do Westeros. I think it is in October, but I guess we'll see. We might do Westeros and then Van Amotsadra. Or some other matches here when the youth and take on. So I guess we'll see just. But that is at least what I'm thinking of. So, EFK Westeros and then Vanam Sada FF. So, thank you for watching. Had a good tea and a good coffee day. And I see you soon again. So, bye!